Hey, this is Brent, and today I wanted to walk through how to set up your Windows machine for development with the Air 3.2 SDK. Specifically, I want to walk through how we can set it up so that when we do command line builds, it becomes a lot easier uh, when you add the uh, SDK to your environment variables so you can have it in your path. Meaning, when you go to use the command line, it's easy to type the commands and you can find everything you need. The other thing I want to talk about is uh, setting up the Android SDK as well as the uh, Blackberry tablet SDK. So of course the first thing you want to do is download everything so uh, make sure you download the appropriate Windows version for the Air SDK. Also uh, when you go for the Android SDK download the Windows version as well. And finally over here we've got uh, the SDK for BlackBerry playbook. Uh, go ahead and download that. Now, once you've downloaded everything, and I've got them over here, what I want to do is install them into a central location so it makes it easier to find everything. And the way I did that is in my root C drive, I created, I created a folder called dev. And inside here, then I've unzipped the SDK and I've unzipped the Android SDK as well as uh, where I installed the BlackBerry SDK and I'll show you what I did. So first thing is I run this, it goes through its little uh, setup process and I may pause and skip ahead so if you see things skipping around don't worry. It's the magic of television. So once you get here you're going to go ahead and click next accept the license terms and go ahead and click next. Then uh, the big question is do you want to integrate with Flash Builder? Um, you can go ahead and do that now. Otherwise uh, if you're just going to do command line compiling for example using Flash Professional or Flash Develop or some other tool then um, you don't really have to do this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click yes. Go ahead and click next. Now at this point what I'm going to do is I want to put this folder in the same location as my other SDKs that I've downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and choose, go to my root drive, and then go to the dev folder. And then I'm also going to put it in a folder just RIM for RIM. So go ahead and do that. And what it's going to do, I'm going to cancel because I've already done this. But uh, once this is done, then we're left with uh, the SDK in the folder. And so it'll install it here. And what we're after is this bin folder. So I want to back up here a little bit. Let me just review what we've done. We've downloaded these three SDKs and we've unzipped the Air SDK into its own folder. We've unzipped the Android SDK and it's got its own folder. And then we have the RIM SDK. For Android, the tools that we need, we have to install them. So go in here and go ahead and go to the SDK Manager and it's going to launch the app. And you'll have to do this the first time. If you have not downloaded the Android SDK before, you're going to have to do this. The thing that we want is this Android SDK Platform Tools. Now, it says it's installed. That's because I've done this already. But you'll want to check that and if it's not installed, you need to install it. And the reason for that is that we get the extra tools that allow us to uh, work with the command line in the platform tools uh, download. So go ahead and do that, and then you're ready to go. All right, so what am I talking about when I say we want to get these into the path? If I go to start and I type CMD, press return, it's going to launch the command line. This is the uh, command line where you enter in uh, using the SDK. And so, for example, what I want to do is to be able to type, like, reference the ADT, which is the program that uh, the Adobe Air SDK uses. And so if I type ADT and press return, it's going to say, hey, I have no clue what you're talking about. Same thing with uh, like the Android SDK we have like it's called the ADB well again it's not there well if I don't add these to my path variable then 
what happens is if I want to re reference it, I have to do things like C colon slash dev slash Android SDK Windows. You know, you have to type the whole path, and it's it, it actually wastes a lot of time, and it's not very productive. So we're going to fix that. Now, what we want to do is go over here, and we're going to right-click the computer, choose Properties. Then we're going to go to Advanced System Settings. So go ahead and choose that. Next, we want to go to Environment Variables. Go ahead and click that. Now, up here we have Environment Variables, and we want a System Variable. And we're looking specifically for one called Path. So I'm going to scroll down here, and notice I have this one called Path. Go ahead and click that, and then click Edit. Now, if you have apps that have been installed, a lot of times it'll update things for you. So if I were to look through this, what I'm looking at are a number of apps, you know, like QuickTime, Java, you know, those have been modified. What I'm going to do is add to the end of this uh, additional paths. Now, the question is, what paths do I need? Well, I'm going to click back over to my folder, and let's look at Android since we're in this folder already. The one we want, there's two folders I want to add. One is Platform Tools, so I'm going to double click that. And notice we have ADB, uh, we've got some other things in here. I want this folder referenced in my class path. Well, one way to do that, I'm going to slide this over so you can see this a little better. Notice how we have these folders, and Windows does this, you know, where it separates it in folders. Well, if you want to see the absolute path, you click the folder. So go ahead and click that, and look, it's automatically selected. So I'm going to copy that, Control C. Now I'm going to come back over here, and at the end of this path, make sure you're all the way over at the end, I'm going to put a semicolon, and then I'm going to paste this line. So go ahead and press Control V. All right, notice what it did. It added this folder. Okay, very good. Now I want to go back and I want to do one more folder, and that is the Tools folder. Now in the Tools folder, we have things like Android, we have DDMS, which is a uh, the debugging tool, which allows you to get a lot of trace uh, log from the Android devices. So I want the same thing. I want to add this folder. So go ahead and click the folder. Now it's switched to the uh, path. I want to press Control C. I want to go over here and make sure I'm at the end. I want to press add a semicolon and then Control V. All right. So we've added those two. Now let's go back, back up. And let's go to the SDK, the Air SDK. Double click in here, and we want the bin folder because we have our files right here. So again, click the folder, press Control C, and come back over here. At the end, add a semicolon, press Control V, and now we've added that to the path. And one more, let's go back out, and we want to go to the BlackBerry SDK. So here, uh, we also have a bin folder here. Same process, get the path, control C, click over here, semicolon, control V, and then we click OK. I'll go ahead and click OK, and then click OK one more time. Now we want to go back to our command line, so type CMD, press return. Now when we type, we're going to go ADT. Guess what? We get all of this information. This is, uh, you know, when you click, when you have a, when you have a program that expects uh, some information, some parameters, if you don't type the parameters, then it's going to automatically give you the help. So all of this output here is the help for ADT, and there's quite a bit of it. And once you figure out how to understand it, then it kind of helps to when you need to uh, remember certain variables. So now I can also check ADB. And it does the same thing, and same thing for uh, BlackBerry. You could always try. Let's click one of these. Let's go uh, BlackBerry Air Packager. Guess what? So now we've successfully added these to our class path, meaning we can access them from the command line. All right, very simple. Now that you've got all of these things uh, added to your class path, the next step uh, is another tutorial. All right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.